What is good guys, back in my World Cup Finals, Zomok playing for US West, Brof is playing for US Northeast. Little backstory um, between both players, they played in Snake Draft and in SPL and Zomok won both times. So let's see if Brofus can get his first win uh, versus Zomok in Tours. Looking at the teams, so on Zomok's side we have, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Choice Scarf Magnuson, otherwise he's quite weak to Kartana, he needs the speed um, to trap Kartana, like a SD Kartana would potentially just destroy his team if he's not Scarf Magnezone and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be double choice Scarf because uh, Magnezone alone is not enough for speed control. The secondary Scarfer is either the Landris or the Greninja, we'll have to see that. And yeah, the Jirachi is most likely a Spadef variant. It could be um, Wish Iron Head U-turn Rocks or it could be Wish Iron Head U-turn Protect. Um, yeah, it kind of depends if the rock is the Lando or the, or the Jirachi. It depends on that if the last move on Jirachi is Protect or Rocks. The Finny is gonna be a Defog variant, uh, probably in Nature's Madness uh, Taunt and it could be Surf or Moonblast, I don't know exactly. And yeah, Greninja, if Landris is um, not Choice Scarf, I'm pretty sure Greninja is going to be Choice Scarf, we will have to see that. If Landris is Z-Move, that would mean the Curum could be Life Orb, or if the Curum is Z-Move, that would mean the Landris is probably Scarf, and then the Greninja could maybe be um, either Specs Battlebond or yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking pretty much. That just depends on the set. If the Lando is um, Scarf, then I'm thinking the Greninja is probably Battlebone Specs. Or if the Lando is Z-Move, then the Greninja would most likely be Scarf. And on Brofus' side, I haven't even talked about his team yet. It's going to be Mega Scizor, um, Spikes Ferrothon and Rocks Tren most likely. It could also be Double Hazard Ferrothon, but I assume it's just Spikes Ferro and Rocks on Tren. But you have Greninja on Greninja lead here. Both Gwens could be Choice Scarf. But um, the both players might not want to risk taking a Scarf U turn turn 1. So they could just switch out here. Um, Zomox play to scout out the opposing Scarf. Greninja would be going into either Jirachi or Tapu Fini. And Brofist play to scout out opposing Scarf. Greninja would be uh, most likely going into Heatran. Because he doesn't want to go into his other Steel types, Scizor and Ferrothorn. Because if he goes to them, he would get uh, trapped by the Magnezone. And yeah, on Brofist's side, I'm thinking the Z move user is either the Heatran or the Reuniclus. Glisco is most likely a SD variant. I don't think it's going to be Defog on this team. It's probably two win conditions SD Scissor, SD Glisco, and then Hazard stacking um, between Spikes, Ferro, Rocks, Tren. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm basically thinking both Greninjas could be Choice Scarf. Like on Zomok side, it just depends um, if it's Scarf Zone plus Scarf Lando or if it's Scarf Zone plus Scarf Gren. We're pretty much going to have to see that. And yeah, Brofus just makes his play going to Tren, scouting for that, and Zomok also scouts for that, thinking that it's most likely Scarf Gren on um, Brofus side, because Brofus doesn't have another potential Scarfer. Uh, and, well, it could potentially be Scarf Tren, but that's just super unlikely on this team. It's most likely like Lefties or Zemo Tren. So Brofist, if he's Rocks on Tren, he can definitely just get the Rocks up here, unless he's Double Hazard Ferrothorn. If he's Double Hazard Ferrothorn, then um, he can just click Magma or Lava Plume here. But yeah, just, just get up the Rocks. So he's not double hazard Pharaoh, he's just spikes Pharaoh. And Zomok is slower, pretty much confirming that this is um, fast Heatran, like either modest or timid max speed. And the Jirachi is just Spadef with a little bit of speed investment. So now we have a few options here. We could see the Landris, the Finny potentially come out. Greninja is another option. Uh, I don't think he's gonna go Kyurem, even if he has Earth Power, because he doesn't want to take rocks for no reason. We see no leftovers on the Heatran, so this means this is most likely a Zemo variant. And Brofus has to switch out here, I assume, into the Gliscor. Yep. Zomok just goes for Earthquake there. Uh, yeah, trying Brofus, trying to catch Brofus on a stay in maybe, um, because Brofus could have potentially gone for Zemo there, which would have uh, most likely Oko'd the Landers if the Landers would have gone for Rocks there. And now, this Gliscor is definitely SD Roost Earthquake, and the last move is either Facade, Knockoff, or Ice Fang. His team is a little bit weak to, um, to Zygarde. So it could definitely be Ice Fang, but maybe not. It could also be Curse Scissor to help with Zygarde. I'm not sure about that. But he does show Ice Fang, bops the Landros for a lot of damage, and it's fast Gliscor, which I know US Northeast, they like speed on their mons. Like, they like Gliscor being faster than other Gliscors. 
and Glisco being faster than Zygarde. In this case, Glisco being faster than Landris, which means Zomok is forced out into Tapofini. I assume we just see an Ice Fang again from Brofist because there was a plus to Landris in his face, even though the switch was really obvious. Uh, completely agree with Brofist just attacking again. Now Zomok can just get the Defog off here, goes for Surf instead, gets some chip on the Ferrothorn, and Brofist is most likely just gonna click Knockoff here, which gets him something out of the turn no matter what. Um, if the Finny stays in the Defog, he gets rid of the Leftovers. If the Magnezone comes out, uh, out, he gets rid of the Choice Scarf. And that getting rid of the Choice Scarf could potentially help Brofist Scissor outspeed the Magnezone later in the game because US Northeast, they like speed on their Scissor as well. Uh, ABI had a game in World Cup Round 1 where he was able to, um, I think, knock off a Magnezone uh, Scarf and then Scissor outsped it afterwards. And yeah, so uh, Zomok was for Surf there, anticipating Brofist to double out into either Glisco or Heatran, predicting Brofist to predict the Magnezone, but Brofist just went for Knockoff, which is in my opinion a fine play, because he would have gotten rid of the Scarf on the Magnezone, and now he can most likely just get up a Spike here, yep. Zomok goes uh, into Zone, he's gonna click HP Fire, and Brofist can just click Knockoff here, and uh, we're gonna see if it's Scarf, it's most likely Scarf. Does knock off? Yep, Choice Scarf gets knocked off. And now uh, I assume Brofist is just gonna get up another spike because there's not really a point in knocking off again or in leech seeding. And the secondary spike gets a little bit more chip damage. Like it doesn't really matter too too much what he clicks here, but secondary spikes just makes the most sense there. So uh, yeah, he volt switches because he doesn't want to stay in with the with the slow Magnezone that lost the Choice Scarf. So he goes into his Greninja. Now I feel like Brofist. Might want to go Reuniclus or his own Greninja, but I assume he has to go to his own Greninja because um, in case this is Ash Greninja, he can't go Reuniclus here. And yeah, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to go Scissor yet because. Uh, well, it depends on his Scissor set. I'm thinking the Scissor is definitely SD Ruth's uh, Bullet Punch. Last move, I'm not sure if it's Knockoff. Knockoff or U-turn? Or is there another option? Superpower is not really used on Scissor, right? I, I don't know what it is. I'm thinking knockoff makes sense on the scissor for now, but he does go into his Greninja and now we could potentially see Well at this point, I'm pretty sure that this Greninja on Zomok's side is most likely Choice Scarf because we saw the Landris go for SD Which means the Landris is the Z-move user and the Qurum um, is most likely Live Orb on Zomok's side So Zomok could just U-turn here. Um, we know that he's most likely Scarf like I said Based off that we know that the Landris showed SD and is not Scarf um, so Brofist could do two things here, he's either Scarf on his own and could try to win the tie, or he could try to pivot um, back into Heatran or Gliscor, anticipating Zomok to go for the U-turn. Those are pretty much the options here, it's either win the tie or pivot back. He does pivot back, um, knowing that Zomok is most likely going to go for U-turn. Now Zomok can just go on the top of Finny here, um, on the Gliscor and get off the Defog, because he did trap the Ferrothorn, the hazards are going to be gone. The only hazard that can go back up, uh, the only hazards that can go back up are the rocks, the spikes, won't go back up. So yeah, Tapu Fini comes out, he's just gonna defog here. Um, Brofist, I assume he's just gonna click Sword Stance and pressure Zomok with this Gliscor. And uh, Zomok pretty much has to pick a fodder. So there's the SD, I assume he's gonna defog. Yep. And now Zomok has to decide what he wants to sack. Mm. Is the Finny valuable? I mean, the Finny is cool because it has Surf for the Heatran, but I'm pretty sure the Heatran um, either Twit kills or Oko's the Finny, depending on what Zemo of the Heatran has. If it's um, Inferno Overdrive, it can't kill it yet, but if it's Corkscrew Crash, it can probably already kill the Finny from this range. Like, Finny might not do too much, but it's maybe still a little bit more valuable than the Landris. Um, I could see either, it's either going to be Earthquake or Ice Thing here from Brofist's side, and Zomok has to decide his sack. He might just want to get the Intimidate with the land and sack that. Yeah, just just go Landris. Brovis clicks Ice Fang predicting that and just kills the Landris. Oof, man, Brovis is playing this so fire. Like, it's so it's so fun to watch great players. So, Kyurem comes out. Um, like I said, this has to be most likely Life Orb because he showed Z-move. Like, he showed SD on Landris and no item on Landris. So, probably Z-move on Landris. Because this is not an HO team. On HO, you run Sash Lando, but this is like... Balance slash bulky offense where it's gonna be um, Z move Landris, right? But yeah, Brovis can just go into Scissor here. Unless unless Zomo can well Zomo can potentially double into Magnezone, predicting the Scissor to come out. But um, if Brovis has U-turn on the Scissor and he's faster, which I'm pretty sure he is faster, that's why he knocked off the scarf with the Ferrothorn. That's like US Northeast their sign pretty much on Scissor. They'll run like they're running them fast. 
the random fast scissors. So he does um, go into scissor, and I assume Brovis is just gonna roost here. Zomox throws off an ice beam just to see what Brovis does, and he obviously wanted to scare out the, the plus one Gliscor. So Zomok can either go hard into Magnezone here, or he can, um, yeah, I think he has to go hard into Magnezone. He he most like he has like nothing else for this scissor, but Brovist, um, Brovist is either going to U-turn or Roost here. Depends on if he has speed for this um, Magnezone. So he does go for Roost, and now we'll see if he's faster scissor, which I assume he is. And he's faster superpower! Ooh! So fire, and he gets rid of the Magnezone with superpower. That's just so hard. Like how he set that up, he got that knockoff on the zone with the Therazon getting rid of the Scarf, specifically superpower Scissor, which lures in Heatran, and it also pops Magnezone, which is super hard. My my friend Eclipse made a team with that like a few months back with superpower Scissor, and it always worked. It always worked with his Magnezone, it always worked with his Heatrans, it's really cool. And Zomok pretty much loses straight up to the Scissor at this point, like I don't think he can beat it. Um, Brovis plays it safe there, scouting for a Fire Punch or a Slash, not wanting to get flinched down. Um, yeah, big, big fan of how Brovis played this amazing game to watch. And now he can either get the rocks back up or just uh, attack. Throws up the rocks, and now I assume we're gonna see the Z move from Brofus here. That's the Z move. Is it Coxo Crash? Yup! Tapu Fini says goodbye. And um, Kyurem comes out, so this is easier Fusion Ball to Earth Power, is it, but it's gonna click here. Uh, what did Brofus play? He can. I don't remember how healthy the scissor is. I think the scissor is at 60 something, so he might not wanna go hard into it. Okay, it's at full. I don't remember him healing up to full, my bad. It's like 4 a.m. here. But yeah, he goes hard scissor. And scissor can just roost here. Well, he does risk he does risk getting crit, but I think he has to roost because you want the scissor at a good amount of health because it pretty much just wins the game on its own. So now it's either roost again or bullet punch here. That's just bullet punch. No risks there, not trying to get crit that turn. Um, and was able to get a little bit uh, more health back with that roost because earth power is 7% less than roost heals. So Zomok goes Gren and uh, yeah, Brofus makes the Quebec play switching out because his scissor pretty much just wins the game. He doesn't want to, like he scouts for a potential HP fire slash, he doesn't want to get Ice Beam frozen on his scissor. So I cannot say it often enough, like um, it's so fire how Brofus played this, I don't have the words for it. It's like too late here, I cannot, um, I cannot say it often enough, it's just super fire. And yeah, Glisco clicks Earthquake. Jirachi gonna U-turn out? Yeah, U-turn out into Greninja. And uh, he has to lock into Ice Beam and like try to freeze everything, but I don't think there's any way he can win this. Um, he, Brofus can, if, if the Heatran gets frozen down, like he can sag it and then afterwards come in and click Bullet Punch. But they already said GG, so I assume he saw it out. Yeah, he did just saw out. And click Lava Plume, that's the ABR special. It's like Modest Heatran with Lava Plume, Flash Cannon, Earth Power Rocks, and Corkscrew Crash. And Lava Plume picks up the Jirachi. Brofist picks up the win for US Nauseous. And it's 3-3 three and three now in finals. Close finals. Pretty hype. Uh, we got a few more games coming. I'm going to uh, record the... Um, I think it's two more. Is it one or two more Sun and Moon OU games? I think it's two more Sun and Moon OU games. I'm going to record them, bring them to you live. Um... I recorded. I also recorded the ADV game, but my my friend Seal, who, who usually narrates the ADV games, f helps me with them. His computer died, so he cannot help me narrate. Um, I don't know if those games are gonna go up like a few weeks or months later when he has a new computer, or if I find someone else to help me with ADV. Um, if you guys wanna help me with lower gens, gen three, four, or five, or maybe even gen one or two, uh, you can let me know, and I will just record the screen of the game and send it to you and you can narrate over it or something and send it back to me if you want to help me out um yeah but really well played by brofist smash the like button if you enjoyed and yeah i see you guys with more world cup coverage i hope you all enjoyed have a fantastic day friends and goodbye